Hey everyone and welcome back. Now I get up to all sorts of things that I don't show everyone here. A lot of it because it's either too short to really make any content out of or I just figure you guys won't find it interesting. With that being said, I didn't originally intend on making this video on this topic. But I was playing around with another turbine design and I come up with this and I had some interesting results. Initially I was sort of copying a vacuum pump, like a vacuum cleaner's turbine system. Uh, to work as some sort of ventilation system, but my test unit was rather impressive So I decided I'd show you guys and see what you think to power this I'm using an 18 volt Ryobi compatible battery with my custom-made fuse and switch box This has a 10 amp breaker So I don't do any damage to the lithium batteries and kind of gives me a hard limit on how much power I can draw This box just slides on top of the battery and gives me 20 volts to whatever I want Motor wise, I'm using the standard 26, 27 turn RC car 540 motor. And I realize, yes, I am way over voltaging it. They don't like 12 volts very much, let alone 20. So I'm not going to let this run for any length of time continuously as to try and get as much out of it for testing purposes as possible before the motor lets go. Ultimately, a brushless 540 or other brushless motor would be much better suited for this application. <laughs> Back using my arbitrary scale flow meter, we are in the red, either a one or two kind of bounces around a bit. And for pressure, I get from one into mercury of vacuum to zero, which I'm going to roughly say is at least half to three quarters of a PSI. Also, when I put my hand over the intake, you can hear the load difference but the pressure doesn't drop that much, which means it's pulling air from somewhere else. Originally, I didn't intend to need to seal this for what I was doing. It was just basically a glorified fan. But now that I'm actually trying to build pressure, I need to seal everything. So I cut out a gasket out of construction paper with the laser engraver, and I'm gonna cover both sides of it with silicone to make sure it seals real well. Testing with the gasketed housing doesn't really seem to change anything. So, I'm going to try a different impeller with a little bit more of an aggressive pull, which should hopefully be more efficient. After the impeller swap, during the pressure test, I noticed kind of some sort of weird effect here. As the RPM drops when I turn the motor off, the pressure decreases, then increases again, then decreases. Now, I'm not sure if this is a sign of, like, I'm over revving the impeller and it just can't grab any air, or it's a sealing issue. To eliminate the sealing issue, I'm going to put slightly longer, better screws in here that I can tighten up a little bit better, and hopefully that'll make an effect. So, somehow the audio got corrupted for this, but anyways, with larger screws, better sealed housing, I do notice a slight increase in pressure overall as well as that weird effect going away. However, the pressure is not stable, and if you compare the two impellers side by side, they don't really sound the same. The load is definitely more on the second impeller, which means I'm probably running out of power on this poor little motor. That or I'm just killing it. Flow testing the improved impeller nets me about the same as before. I can't see any noticeable difference, however, this flow meter isn't really that accurate so any difference is probably not noticeable on this scale but there is probably a difference for further development on this I have scaled it up and modified the housing slightly as well as modified the housing to fit my gearbox that's currently on the supercharger on the engine I'm also toying with putting a gearbox on the small version and shaft driving it like the large version for a very small engine Judging on the flow rates, we're looking at under 3 horsepower. And that's about it for this project currently. If you're still watching at this point, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. And if you haven't, click the like and subscribe to see more of the random projects I get up to. And that's it. Hope you guys liked it, and have a good one.